Welcome Scorpio and Scorpio rising for December. It's all about the money, money, money. And so we've got house two, second house of possessions, of money, of your own self-worth that's being activated. So let's dive deep into your reading, Scorpio. I'm Trina, your intuitive guide from the Moon Tree. TheMoonTree.org, helping you navigate life's energies. Okay, so everything's being activated in your second house of income and possessions and your money and your how you value money, your belief systems about money. And because this is a new moon on December 4th for new beginnings in Sagittarius and it's a solar eclipse, this is a very, very important month where you'll be letting go, perhaps letting go of self-limiting beliefs about money. What's holding you back from making more money? Is it the beliefs like money doesn't grow on trees? We must work really hard for our money. I don't deserve more money. What is it for you, Scorpio, that limit your beliefs about money? Maybe trying to manifest being a millionaire and that's not been working. I think it would be a good idea too in December, Scorpio, to look at money beliefs keeping you broke. Articles like this, five money beliefs keeping you broke, things like that to get your mind rolling about how to have a better mindset because it all starts in our subconscious. It all starts in here, okay? The most important thing that I think that I would suggest for you is to increase your income, you must increase your value. How do you become more valuable than you are right now. Even if you can just make little incremental progresses in increasing your personal value so that you can offer more, you will make more money. Because January, for example, for you, everything's gonna be in your third house of learning something new, maybe taking a course or um, learning how to communicate better, for example. So these kind of things, maybe it's a good time to look into taking a course to increase your value so that you get a pay raise, for example. Maybe it's time to think about, is this job giving me the abundance that I want and deserve? Or is it just kind of run its course? And maybe it's time for something bigger, better and exciting for me. And that's what's happening here for all of us having this new moon solar eclipse in Sagittarius. And so for the Sagittarius, that's your second house of money. So you are letting go of beliefs and systems that hold you back from making more abundance. And it's a really good time to look at your spending habits versus your receiving. Is there a way to become more simplified and minimalist living per se? Maybe it's a time to sell some things that are just taking up space anyways, energetic space as well. Things that take physical mass also take energetic space in our heads, by the way. So it could be a good time to sell some stuff. Could be a good time to look at, you know, because the full moon towards the end of December is going to hit your eighth house. So you're on a money line. You're on an eighth house is about your other money, your investments and things coming at the end of the month. So it's really important for you, I think, to look at all your money stuff, your financials, as well as your self-worth. What's holding you back from making more money? Because really, you do deserve it. You are born worthy. You are born deserving. And just think, the more money you have the more money you can share. For December's Oracle card reading, I've chosen to use our deck, the Power of Eight Chakra Oracle, available on my site at www.themoontree.org, as well as Yasmin Boland's Moonology Manifestation Cards. All right, Scorpio, so let's look at the cards. We've got number 32, I Am Connected. And then we have Yasmin's card, Last Quarter Moon in Sagittarius, Practice Gratitude. Both of these cards have the energy of lifting up, lightening up, and smiling and laughing more. So I Am Connected is about the crown chakra at the very top, that purple crown chakra right here, okay? And so the energy comes down and filters down all through your body to the other chakras. And when your crown chakra is not feeling balanced, 
it can make you feel bored, complacent, yucky, bogged down sort of feelings, if you get what I mean. So it's important to, you know, because this is about your second house of of money and values and, and self-worth, it's important to know that money or not, you are a part of the integral fabric of this universe, Scorpio. Without you, the universe just wouldn't be the same. And it's important to find that connection again. And so meditation, spirituality, things, you know, this Sagittarius card is, Sagittarius is a very spiritual um, sign. And we are in, you know, the sun in Sagittarius and in, in all of this is hitting your second house of self-worth and money. So it kind of all goes together here. So I would suggest with the crown chakra, look at crown chakra meditation on Google, listen to music meant for the crown chakra. Music is very powerful and smile and laugh more. And, you know, Sagittarius card is the same kind of idea. Smile, laugh, be thankful for what you have right now and boost your vibration, increase your vibration, make yourself resonate at a higher frequency to attract more abundance, to attract more fun in life and just to enjoy life a little more. And amethyst can be a really good one to uh, hold or have in your bra or whatever. Sleep on, you know, put it under your pillow at night. Amethyst, purple amethyst would be very good to help balance and lighten you up and get in touch and balance that crown chakra and connect to the divine and heighten your frequency and everything. The more you do that and work on your energy fields like that and practicing gratitude, by the way, is a really good way to reset your frequency into a higher resonate like resonating frequency so you could write your gratitude list and then on december 4th new moon in sagittarius by the way you make your wish and make your wish regarding your self-worth and abundance and all that kind of stuff related to the second house You can also use lavender essential oil in your diffuser, which is like purple. And maybe you can even have purple flowers in your house or you can uh, wear purple shirts and anything to do to get the frequency of purple to help you align that and balance that crown chakra and help you feel light and worthy and increase your abundance. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like your own intuitive reading or energy healing tools, please visit me on my website, www.themoontree.org. Helping you navigate life's energies. See you next time. Themoontree.org. Intuitive living for a magical life.